It is time now for a Bloomer Quick Take, where we provide context and background on issues of interest. We're talking coal. It is the world's biggest source of carbon emissions and a major contributor to global warming. It's also cheap and abundant. The power and the warmth that it generates have helped lift millions out of poverty in China, India and other developing nations. So here's the situation. Coal accounts for about 30 percent of the world's energy consumption. It also ranks second to oil among energy sources, with China consuming the most. Now, according to a review by BP, global coal consumption fell by 1.8 percent in 2015. That is the largest drop since the company began keeping records in the mid-1960s. Burning coal emits almost twice as much carbon dioxide as natural gas and 28 percent more pollutants than heating oil. Air pollution may reduce the size of the global economy by as much as 1 percent by 2060, according to the OECD. Tighter environmental regulation is one factor that's making coal mining unprofitable in many places. In April, April America's biggest coal miner, Peabody Energy, filed for bankruptcy, joining at least eight other U.S. producers that did the same in the previous year. So here's the background. Coal has always been controversial. In 1306, King Edward I banned its use in London because of heavy smoke from its fires. Centuries later, coal powered the Industrial Revolution. It shrouded London in fogs that were common until the mid-20th century. That leads us to the argument. In December, almost 200 countries endorsed a plan in Paris to limit global warming. The European Union has used a market-based system of pollution permits to help curb carbon dioxide emissions. The impact, though, has been fairly modest. The coal industry is promising so-called clean coal innovations with a claim that they could remove as much as 90 percent of the carbon associated with burning. But the technology is unproven and expensive, so there's plenty of opposition from those who argue that coal is best left in the ground.